My name is Maria Hinojosa, and I'm the president of Futuro Media. Futuro Media is a small, nonprofit, independent media company, and um, it's the only nonprofit news organization that is run by a Latina in the United States of America. We produce Latino USA, we produce In the Thick, we produce America by the Numbers for public television. Um, we own Latino Rebels, um, and we do this as a nonprofit because our interest is to to do the work of journalism, but not it's not about making money for us. That's why we're a nonprofit. I started working in radio in the 1980s, and um, radio was much more accessible. Like the thought of doing television back then, we didn't have cameras in our phones or tiny cameras. The only way that you could do television was with really super big cameras and a lot of people. And radio was just a lot more accessible. So I think I chose radio because it felt more accessible. And also radio has always been a part of, of my life. I'm, the radio was on in our apartment all the time when I was growing up. And, um, and I think radio is a, a very intimate way of communicating with people. It's very much, you know, it's a very intimate way. So I do television and I do radio and I write books. Um, but there's something very special about doing radio work that is, makes you get very close to your listener. I'm here to um, share some wisdom with pretty incredible women and philanthropists about my own story and also what it is to be um, a journalist and a Mexicana and a Latina in the United States of America today. I think it's important to recognize that we all face challenges. We're all gonna face different challenges, so not to be afraid of the challenges. I would say that my, from the time that I was your age to now, I think it's always been like one challenge or another. Um, sometimes the greatest challenge is the one that we think that we're not up to. So maybe one of my greatest challenges is to learn how to deeply and profoundly believe in myself. Uh, and so I would encourage all of you to do that, right? Right now we're getting a lot of mixed messages as to who we are in this country and what our role is. And so we have to make sure that we come out of this having a lot of love and respect for ourselves and for what we do. You know, um, when I created my company, it didn't exist. There was nothing that made me think that I could ever do this. And so the things that make me really inspired is when I find young people who have the same inquietud that you guys do, which is like, well, what if we want to do storytelling in Spanish? And I would just say, do it. So find a way. And even if it's just a small group of people who are listening to your stories, by doing this work in Spanish, you're actually part of a really important part of the story of young American journalists. So start collecting those stories. Start recording your family members who speak Spanish. Start collecting their stories about what it's like to be Latino immigrant, Spanish speaking in Western North Carolina. Um, I think that there's, once you start asking the questions, people will start sharing your stories and you'll probably have a lot more Spanish stories than you know what to do with then create a website, then you know, start having people listen to it or create your own podcast. It's, to me, it's not as important how many people are listening to it than the fact that you've decided to create it and believe in your stories enough that you wanna tell them in your own way. And I'm all about owning your perspective and your way of telling a story. So go for it.